thanks, uh, Capital Link and uh, the organizers for uh, for the conference. And thought uh, it will be it will be really useful in a conference as such to talk about uh, the Greek corporate market and talk about uh, the efforts that we did uh, as of last year to incorporate shipping into into the offering uh, of uh, the market. And what is, uh, what is the corporate uh, bond market? It's a Athens Stock Exchange regulated market. Uh, and uh, the last uh, five years, even uh, in, in, in uh, the days of the crisis in, uh, in Greece and capital markets, uh, corporate bonds overall have been a very active part of, uh, of that market. So uh, we have seen issuance, and uh, we are very glad that in 2021 and 2022 we saw also the first shipping bonds uh, happening uh, uh, on the Athens Stock Exchange. Now, it's a firmly established market endorsed by uh, market players, the banks first of all, including ourselves, Pareus Bank, uh, has been very active in uh, in, in, in the whole spectrum of, uh, of corporate bonds. Uh, it, it has clear benefits for issuers and investors and has been uh, embraced uh, by both. Uh, and, uh, and, and we had uh, a significant retail investor participation. Uh, on the top of the development of the market, we started seeing specific uh, uh, characteristics in bonds like shipping bonds which is uh, the new innovation in 2021 uh, and green bonds which uh, have been issued and uh, we expect that they will continue to be part of the this regulated market uh, uh, offering now let me tell you to give you an idea of the market we had up to now uh, we had about 23 public offers uh, under uh, the uh, Athens Stock Exchange Regulated Market Corporate Bond Program. Four billion raised in total since uh, 2016. The single largest issuer was uh, 500 million and the average size was about 175 million. The offers were 2.7 times on average uh, oversubscribed and we had uh, 60% uh, uh, retail participation. The remaining 40% was uh, institutional investors uh, and, uh, and, and that's mostly asset management uh, companies operating in Greece and internationally and of course uh, the banks themselves. Now uh, you see that 2021 was a big year for, uh, uh, for the market. We had about 1.4 billion uh, raised, seven issuers. Uh, we started back in uh, 2016 with a very modest 40 million uh, offering. And then you see how the market uh, grew up. Uh, we uh, managed to do two issues in uh, 2022. And then uh, a combination of the geopolitics as well as uh, the inflation and uh, rate uh, environment uh, put a pause in, uh, in the market, but uh, there is no doubt that uh, the dialogue is there, there is interest from uh, issuers. It's always a question of where the market uh, opens again in order to be able to uh, uh, go back public on, uh, on these, uh, on these uh, bonds. Now, uh, there are benefits clearly for shipping issuers and that's uh, what I wanted to focus uh, in this presentation. Uh, first of all, uh, diversifying uh, sources of uh, funding and finance. That's very important. As we know, shipping grew up uh, uh, on, uh, at the back of uh, uh, you know, the, the um, uh, secured mortgage financing. However, uh, a lot of uh, uh, other structures uh, came in and are supporting uh, the uh, the financing of, uh, of the industry and in fact here uh, uh, it, it, uh, it uh, goes without saying that the more the merrier the diversification 
uh, that exists uh, and uh, should be is is a welcome uh, uh, is a welcome uh, uh, thing both for uh, issuers of course but also investors so um, those bonds are typically uh, on a senior and secured basis so uh, you know that's uh, uh, that's a complementing uh, source to the secured lending that uh, mortgage lending that we are mostly are custom when it comes uh, to shipping it has a bullet repayment which is uh, a, a, a good feature vis-a-vis -vis, uh, mortgage uh, uh, vessel loans and uh, of course has a call option that uh, gives the opportunity to call the loan earlier uh, usually these are uh, 10 or 5 years these are uh, these bonds and um, uh, there is no doubt and we saw that uh, during the offerings that we did in 2021 that um, uh, you know they were appealing both to retail but also institutional investors uh, and uh, we had particip significant participation uh, of course subject to market uh, conditions overall and timing and, and so on and that's that's a market that we expect and we would continue we would believe that will continue to grow uh, it's a market where um, you know we see uh, a lot of interest from investors and uh, you know we encourage uh, everybody to have a look at this alternative uh, source of uh, of finance uh, I'm very, uh, 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 very happy to say that the Piraeus Bank has been in the forefront of, uh, of this market. So we have uh, led all three bonds that have uh, uh, been uh, issued in the, on the Athens Stock Exchange uh, last year and, uh, and this year, uh, starting in May 21 from uh, Costa Mare with uh, the first shipping bond uh, five year 100 million uh, which was issued at 2.7 uh, percent uh, interest rate followed uh, uh, by uh, uh, capital uh, maritime in uh, October of 21 150 million again five year at 265 and finally safe bulkers uh, early in 22 uh, with a bit of uh, a little bit more turbulence in the market uh, so a uh, hundred million and, and, and a bit uh, of a reflection on the interest rate uh, of the fact that the markets were starting to be uh, a little bit more jittery and uh, and that was of course taken into account so I mean these are three uh, top quality issuers uh, just to go through even though they are very very well known uh, you know in in the shipping community listed on the new york stock exchange uh, costa mare is the guarantor of the bonds and uh, 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 you know the significant oversubscription 60 per 70 percent retail participation the books oversubscribed significantly so very good offering the timing was excellent at the, at the time uh, the uh, Capital Product Partners, equally uh, another uh, listed entity, uh, NASDAQ uh, this time, again, uh, you know, issued the bond on the Athens Stock Exchange, as I said, is a listed bond in a regulated market, guaranteed by the, the parent company. Uh, and uh, that's, that's, of course, uh, very important. Again, significant uh, uh, demand. And finally, the third, uh, the third one that uh, uh, was uh, uh, listed uh, was uh, Save Bulkers, uh, New York uh, uh, Stock Exchange listed. Again, uh, uh, the, the, the bond was guaranteed by Save Bulkers INC that's uh, listed on, uh, on the New York Stock Exchange. Top quality, uh, all three of them, uh, and, uh, and really uh, you know, led uh, the market uh, in a new in a new space. So uh, we had uh, 350 million of those bonds issued already. Uh, there is appetite for more, subject uh, to market conditions. 
and right now it's fair to say that the uh, the conditions are are, are not uh, ideal for public issuance not only in the bond market but also in the equity however one uh, can always uh, prepare for when the window opens when the market opens there are of course uh, as we as we know and has been discussed already uh, a lot of headwinds uh, for the industry but also the capital markets in general and of course this is something uh, we take uh, we will take into account the market will take into account there is always uh, a window for uh, uh, for issuance uh, over time and uh, and I just uh, I couldn't uh, uh, you know uh, wait to see uh, this uh, conference happening without actually talking about this uh, new uh, uh, market which we have been, uh, uh, we have been um, uh, discussing with the authorities to open it up and I'm, I'm very glad that uh, you know we, we managed to get this through uh, through elaborate work and due diligence with the capital markets, the Greek Capital Markets Commission, the Athens Stock Exchange and, uh, and, and also, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, uh, open up a window to, to these particular issuers for uh, the Greek market, which traditionally takes a lot of, uh, a big part of our uh, GDP, but not in the capital markets. Uh, we are very glad to have with us uh, the CEO of the Athens Stock Exchange, uh, Janos Kondopoulos, he just, uh, uh, appointed a few months ago and uh, you know it's very keen to see what uh, else we could do in, in that front and of course uh, we as a Greek bank but also uh, being very active in capital markets uh, it's in our DNA and um, uh, particularly for me have a strong interest given my my uh, legacy and my credentials in, in capital markets and investment banking you know, we are always keen to look at innovative ideas, financing, both in terms of structuring new deals, uh, going to the capital markets, not only for debt but for equity, and looking at all of these, um, all of these uh, instruments to help uh, uh, finance an industry which is extremely important for Greece. There is no doubt about that, and, and we all know that the contribution to the GDP uh, direct and indirect is significant and we are very happy that we are in a position also to start developing uh, Greek capital markets uh, and, and have participants, top quality participants, participating in Greek capital markets in that front. Uh, with that uh, I, I close my remarks. Uh, again, uh, there is always a time for issuance most likely now is not the time given the the headwinds now is the time for uh, preparing for uh, getting uh, you know your uh, strategic thoughts together and uh, even actually start working with banks uh, with a view of uh, issuing when the market uh, and the windows are available thank you very much